how to upload digital products on beacon.ai hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial uh, today i am going to show you how you can upload products within a beacons and also uh, make some sales it is very easy and very simple all you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to beacons.ai then you have to sign up for an account it is very easy and very simple it will not take a lot of time from you now when you have set up everything you will see this dashboard it will say hi to you and we have also the uh, left sidebar we have the menu we have the home page we have the pinned apps link in bio website email marketing store media kit and etc now to be able to upload the digital files all you have to do is to click on store then we have on store simply a page within this page you are going to put the products here we have my products I have nothing yet you can go ahead and connect your Shopify store and make the connection between them and let your products right here or you can go ahead and import your products instantly with, uh, for example, Etsy, Gumroad, and uh, System.io, etc. Now, we have here the option to create a product, which is digital products, appointments, course, membership. Let's go ahead with the digital products. Since it is a free feature to do, click on here. It will introduce you to the product builder. Here we have the steps it will show up right here i'm going to click on next and i will skip this tutorial here we have the title you can go ahead and modify the title put it for example digital test like that here we have the product test or the product name we have here the price you can set a price say or pay what you want mark as on sale make product free for the setting price here i'm going to put for example the product for 15 dollars and here we have the currency you can go ahead and search and put or optimize the currency that you want for my case i will let it united state dollar here we have the you have the option to enable payment plan you can go ahead and connect your stripe account to use this feature you can add a discount code and etc now for the image it is very simple you have here the presentation image you can go ahead and click on the pen tool and here we have the option to add an embed video or add an image we have here a lot of options from the media the post the gifs stock images and ai image generation I'm going to upload a image from my store right here or my computer. Simply I'm going to select the image and here we have it. It will be uploading the file and it will show up the file after processing or the image after processing. We're going to choose the format here 121, 321, 16 by 9 and 321. I'm going right here and select this one for example I'm going to uh, put the one to one or 16 by one it is up to you you can go ahead and put this one this is a little bit uh, right here and this is a little bit convenient i'm going to click on accept and it will be resizing the photo you can go ahead and see the um, the format by just typing on the pen tool and clicking on add image and get the right sizing then you are going to use canva create a design custom size and put the custom size right here from the width to the height and you will be good to go now we have here the title also from here and here here we have the store name and here we have the description you can go ahead and modify this description click on the pen tool as always get right here you can go ahead and generate with AI. You can try it for free. Here we have the fonts, the type of font. We have the heading. We have the also the paragraph or small text. 
we have all of the necessary tools to customize a text. Now, when you finish everything here, we have get my, for example, product. Here we have the pro logo design. I'm going simply to put template right here. I'm going to delete that. Get my template today for logos today here we have the name you can go ahead and uh, certify or make here the uh, true options or the, the right description for the product you can make whatever you want you can also link link some uh, text right here or put a hyperlink you can add some images and when you finish here you have the buy button you can go ahead and name that buy now button or the button text this is the call to action button we have here two you can go ahead and select these two and put whatever you want on them and here we have the sharing option you can go ahead and sign up or put this uh, product to share now simply when you finish here we have the product page and the checkout click on checkout and here we have more customization you can here modify this case you will be back to the product page or you can choose here the modification of the name and the email address click on this and you have this you can check this is a default checkout field and also for that you can add some fields for example for a custom one birthday location phone number and here we have the subtotal and total you can set the price right here and the payment has not been accepted yet because we didn't activate or we didn't put any payment method when you finish here from the checkout you can see here a screen success this is the uh, step that will show up or the page that will show up after a customer buy your product this is the thank you page we have here the logo as you can see the logo we have some uh, congratulations effects and emojis here we have the message as you can see you can uh, put a message this is a custom message and put a copy will be sent to the customer name this is the uh, welcome or the thank you so for the uh, buying and here we have the email received the automation here will start as soon as a person uh, purchase a product from you here as you can see start automation after someone purchases here immediately email received here we have the subject line how was your order here we have the customized email you can go ahead and customize it from here and then we have also the request review you can put it right here and after seven days of the trial also you can go ahead and send an email demanding the customer to put a feedback because it matters now let's go ahead to the final step which is the edit url you can go ahead and add a url and add a domain for it and for this one we have a standard url you can go ahead and open that url in another page and you will see here the product page that we have we have everything set up now when you finish every section you have to review the page for the mobile phone or the mobile version to see that it, it will fit the mobile uh, options for example and here we have these sections you can see here you can go and put the media and the product files now for the product files you are going to upload the file or the url click on upload file and simply are going to upload the PDF for example or the website or the link that it will take them to that uh, product since it is a digital product you can go ahead and put a Canva link like that since we are going to use Canva you can go ahead and make the collaboration link for example with this one let's say we are going to let this one this is the logo and we can go ahead and let everyone modify it since they have bought it click on share on canva 
then we are going to click on collaboration link only you can access I'm going to put anyone with the link here we have the option to can view can comment and can edit copy that link go back to this store add the URL and here we have the name customize customize it your cell like that you can add the URL and the URL will only be seen when the product is bought when you finish everything simply click on buy or click on publish and it will set up the product right here you can go ahead and promote that product for social media or uh, generate social posts edit link in bios to a front set up payments and the new generated AI emails. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.